I want to share with you a bag I recently got, which is perhaps the most difficult bag to come by this year, and that is the Margot bag from The Row. I got this one in size 15. They also have a size 10, which is much smaller, like a crossbody kind of bag, and a size 17, and that one is a bit too big. So I think a size 15 is ideal for everyday use. And this one I got is in a black suede leather, so it's very luxurious and very soft to the touch. And The Row is always known for its simplicity and classic silhouette and this bag just checks all the boxes so the reason why I want to get this bag is because this year I really want to have a big bag like a carry-all kind of tote bag that can fit everything inside because I'm so tired of small bags I don't want to carry the things in my hands and just have the bag as a decoration and this bag just suits my needs the length is 15 inch about 38 cm and the width is 23 24 cm so it's quite big and roomy but not too big on my height in terms of weight, the bag is not too heavy for its size, so I don't feel like carrying a dumbbell in my hands when I take it outside. And for the handles, it looks like this, and usually you can just hand carry it or just take it on your arm. And if you're not wearing too many clothes, then you can also put it on your shoulder. So yeah, I think it's quite versatile in this case, right? Even though it's not meant to be carried like this, it doesn't hurt if you do it once in a while just to free your hands. In terms of compartment, there's only one big compartment inside with some side pockets and it's also canvas lined. In terms of detail and hardware, one thing I like about it is that it uses minimal hardware, so it makes it easier to blend into your winter wardrobe. For example, there are only two square buckles here and four feet on the bottom. It's also minimally branded because you could only see the brand name, the row, on the four feet. They're presented in a mirroring kind of way and on the side of the buckle, which I like. Um, for the colors, it comes in many different colors, but mainly they use suede leather or camel leather. Camel leather is slightly expensive. I think this bag truly epitomizes effortlessly chic. Like you don't have to wear crazy outfits, just a simple shirt or a simple sweater, trousers, and you look very presentable and elegant already. Uh, lastly, for the price, the price really varies across different platforms, so do check carefully. When I got it, I think I got it at a very good price. It's around 25,000. Yeah, but it's not cheap, right? But I really enjoy it, so I think it will be a lasting piece in my wardrobe.